Now these shark fins shape um, have to be curved, like actually molded. And we'll cover this piece here. Notice that it has a, a line here that it has to be scored. That follows the center of the wing. So you will know which side you're working. All right. We apply glue on the edges and mold it and try covering all this piece. Okay, so now we're going to apply this um, triangular section. The one that I showed you before my previous uh, uh, clip, there was the smaller version that is for the canards. But this is the piece that is big enough to cover this, this, uh, this space. You just have to uh, mold it for this shape, for this shape. So um, just fold it. And before applying glue, just put it on top to see what it needs to what to expect from it so there it would need to cover there it is looks good so as long as you put glue here on 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 the edges and you should cover all the tabs that are here all right Okay, so let's do that. So here it is, how it looks like. It's not gonna be perfect. Uh, it depends how you glue the other parts. There was a little gap there. This is like my third model and every model is slightly different. Anyway, but that's it, being very careful to keep the parts aligned and mold it as, uh, as best as, uh, as possible. Uh, it will cover that piece. So here now, I am going to cover this area now, doing the other side. Same thing. This is the piece that needs to be uh, molded. Curve a little bit on the side that there's the line. This is the line that, is, uh, as I explained, it matches with the center, with the middle of the, uh, of the wing. And then curve like this. So we are gonna apply regular Elmer's glue on the back on the edges and just it it will take some time and you will just try covering all that space be sure to cover all those tabs that you can see there all right so as a tip and you can anchor three R areas the tip here and this tip and this other one um, it's kind of difficult to show you how but one side first try to glue and to align this edge firmly with your fingers pressing on and then the other press the other corner and keep it like that until it it glues as it's the glue gets harder and harder you can still push it a little bit further to close those gaps all right just a lot of patience now it depends on the glue that you use and for instance I put too much crazy glue here and it stained this area um, it will um, clear a little bit if not I will just need to remove very carefully that that stain there but those are the things that you have sometimes you run through these uh, problems by using this type of glue 
All right, just just for you to be aware of, just to be sure. I I um, not to uh, I, I don't have any commissions of naming these brands, but it's better this Loctite super glue, the liquid form. It's better. It doesn't make any stains and it glues much faster than the regular um, Gorilla Glue. This uh, takes longer and it does leave some stains. So <clears throat> you would need to be used to uh, using your preferred glue, instant glue, and uh, you have to check what results, uh, what are the results and what works better for you. All right, I will just try to, um, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to keep pressing these, these corners in order to close this, this gap, okay? All right. But basically, we have completed the, um, the wings and the aero surfaces. And then after this, we'll move on with the canards will look like from this is how it will look like from from the top this is the belly side and the hinge works um, this way like that and the the pointy shape follows the aerodynamics uh, contour of its shape so the air will flow this way on top that's why it's pointy downwards towards the belly side same thing on this side all right so the same way what we just did with the wings there will be some pointy features just like this on the very tip of the canards and they will be pointing this toward the same side because as the canard as the wings the canards also have um, the, the hinges that they will be placed on this side, all right, on the top. As you, as you can see, I have not uh, connected the top portion of the model yet because I still need to work on this. It's much easier without having the cone here. You still have a flat surface to, to work with when you complete the engine section by putting all the details that need to be uh, need to be done so that's why at the very end when you complete this this bottom section is when we connect both all the, all, all, all the parts all right so that's it for the aero surfaces of the wings how they how they work being very careful to locate the pieces um, identifying what is considered the back of or umbilical area of the vehicle and the belly side the belly side because there will be a space to put the the, the tiles okay so this is the belly side the one that goes with the tiles in this case as an eight I uh, had a little patch of uh, tiles that was go there goes here at the time of this uh, of this video that I'm recording it, we're still days away or maybe weeks away from seeing the SN9 to uh, do its first test flight, and that one in particular has more tiles on on the belly side. Okay, so hope hope this video has clarified the steps that need to be taken in order to do the wings and the aero, the aero covers. Let's move on to the canards.